Shalom on your brother Yeramya from the branch of GMS South Carolina Midlands. And before we start off, all praise, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom unto you, hopeful elect. Scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. To you I say Shalom. Port workers from Maine to Texas are set to strike Tuesday. Expect shortages and higher prices. All right. And we know that uh, tomorrow, all right, October the 1st, all right, uh, those port workers around Babylon the Great, as we, as we read from Maine to Texas, Pretty much all along the uh, the top of the East Coast, all the way down to Florida, and to Texas, to the Gulf, um, they're gonna be going on strikes. And uh, you know, I heard within a uh, a news clip I was listening to, you know, it could cost up to billions per day, you know, with these types of strikes. So that's why it's telling us to brace pretty much for, for food shortages and high prices. But, you know, uh, we extrapolate through the scriptures. All right, according to prophecy, we measure the times. You know, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, already told us about these times, man. You know, we know that time's going to get hard. You know, ultimately, you know, the Lord is plaguing this place. You know, we see uh, all the signs of the wars and the rumors of wars famines the pestilences you know these things are happening you know and they, they must they must come to pass all right but we got to understand that oh, oh famines as well okay this will cause famines um you know these things must come to pass and you know we understand that it's the lord plaguing the world okay ultimately uh plaguing babylon the great all right and um you know, none of these plagues is going to touch uh, the hopeful elect as the Lord has promised. You know, the Lord said in Isaiah 65 and uh, 13 that his servants is going to eat, his servants is going to drink, drink, you know, and rejoice. All right. You know, and that's ultimately because the Lord is going to cover them, protect them and provide for his hopeful elect. OK, but as for the two thirds, they're going to starve. They're going to thirst. All right. They're going to howl for vexation of spirit, you know, for being disobedient all right so i'm gonna just get a few scriptures before i go into the plantation um this is the book of second address chapter 15 and verse 49 it says i will send plagues upon thee widowhood and you know widowhood is gonna pretty much be the women you know losing their husbands and that's gonna be due to world war three you know their husband's gonna get drafted off sent it to this third world war ultimately to be destroyed all right you know you're gonna have civil war here in babylon the great you know a lot of men gonna be getting deleted uh, a lot of women gonna be getting snatched up okay and, and you know pretty much men gonna have their way with them all right but not the, the hopeful women or the hopeful elect okay um but it says poverty all right so you know it's crunch time you know, we see inflation already at an all-time high, all right? But things are only going to get worse, especially with this uh, whole port strike situation and many more things, many more uh, false flags and things of that nature. You know, Esau Edom's going to crash the dollar and try to bring in that digital system, all right? Uh, that RFID micro C hub, which is the mark of the beast, which we're instructed not to take or else you'll be destroyed, Revelation 14, 9 and 10 by fire and brimstone. All right, it says famine, a lack of food, lack of water. Okay, we read, you know, we quoted, his service going to eat and drink. It says a sword, a modern day sword is the gun. All right, also within this third world war, you know, when the Lord brings down that final judgment, he's going to destroy Babylon great with nuclear missiles, man. It says, and pestilences, di many different diseases, which, you know, this eases as we see already. All right, but it's only going to get worse as bodies begin to drop here in Babylon the great and around the world. It says to waste their houses with destruction and death. So you see, all these things are coming. You know, the Lord already told us about these things, man. But what I wanted to, um, you know, get into through the spirit 
and uh, comfort the hopeful elect, these things ain't going to come upon you. Okay? Because the Lord is ultimately going to be with you. All right? The Lord has to be with us. Job chapter 5 and verse 19, it says, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yeah, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. So all these plagues, all these troubles, the Lord's going to deliver the hopeful elect. And it's that seventh trouble is the thermonuclear destruction. All right? You know, the, the elect ultimately getting beamed up into the chariot. It says, In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid from the destruction which, when it cometh. So we're not going to be afraid. The elect going to be a good case. We got the angels protecting us, the Lord providing for us, and the Lord will ultimately deliver us. It says that destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth, for, that, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. So we're going to be good, man. All right, I just wanted to, you know, put out a quick exhortation to you, hopeful elect. Yeah, these things are going to happen. It's getting tight, all right? But the Lord is ultimately with us, man. The Lord ain't going to leave us, you know, just like our ancient forefathers, Ecclesiastes 2 and 10. Look at the generations of old. All right, who did, ever, who did the Lord ever forsake, confound, all right, that put their trust in him, all right, and that feared the Lord, man. The Lord was always with us then. He's always with us now, man. Lord, we're aware of that number. So with that, we say shalom to you, hopeful elect. Shalom.